All right, after a six month journey and years of planning, NASA's InSight lander is about to endure the toughest part of the journey. It's the period of time when the lander detaches from the spacecraft and attempts to touch down on the surface of Mars here. This is the so-called seven minutes of terror. We've been to Mars before, but this one's different. And a lot of us here on Earth will be watching. Among them, Dave Cuomo from the Pacific Sign are keeping an eye on this mission. Good morning, Dave. Good morning. Thanks so for having me. Just gotcha. explain what the seven minutes of terror is, because it really comes down to those last seven minutes, right? That's right. It's the last seven minutes. The spacecraft is hitting the atmosphere of Mars at over 12,000 miles per hour. Mm -hmm. It has seven minutes to slow down to zero. Mars's atmosphere is thick enough, you have to take it into account. It's not thick enough to finish the job. Mm. So for five minutes, the spacecraft is on re-entry or on entry. It is essentially a fireball streaking across the Martian sky. And then the parachutes come out. Mm. The parachutes start slowing it down at about six minutes after it contacts the atmosphere the engines fire and take it the final one kilometer down mm. after a journey of six months, That's over six incredible. months. And then 10 plus years of building and planning for it. Exactly. And it all comes down to the seven minutes today. It all today. comes down. That's right. And it's all happening 90 million miles away, mm -hmm. which is takes light eight minutes to get there. So by the time we know that mm -hmm. it started re-entry, it's all over. It's either happened or it hasn't. That's incredible. So do you, are, are you going to be watching this carefully with your team? How does that work for you? We are, we are going to be Center? watching it. We are going to be watching it in our PACAR theater at the Pacific Science Center. We will have an engineer with us from uh, Aerojet Rocketdyne that built the uh, descent engines that will get it safely down to the surface. We'll have a scientist from the Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena. Wow. Great. And a University of Washington Mars scientist. Plus, we'll have our normal planetarium shows, which will all focus on Mars. So we're having a Mars day. Yeah, so the public can come. The public is coming. It is all free with entry into the Pacific Science Center. So Dave, this mission is clearly different. Why is it important? This one is giving us an idea of what is inside Mars. The purpose of this mission is to really determine whether Mars has a molten interior. Mm -hmm. We know there are inactive volcanoes on the surface of Mars. We know it used to have magnetism. It no longer does have magnetism. The volcanoes are not active. What we don't know is whether or not the interior is molten. Answering that question goes a long way to telling us how long ago Mars was a warmer, wetter environment, which the evidence shows that it indeed, indeed was warmer and wetter. We just don't know how long ago. It's fascinating. Wow. Uh, also, NASA TV is going to be carrying this That's live right. today, right? That's um, absolutely right. That it's on, on. Yeah. yeah, it's on NASA TV. If you, uh, there are a number of different options from NASA TV. Oh, There's a live look here, actually, right now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Looks like they're yeah. doing a Q&A kind of thing. Yeah. So it's, it's two hours and 40 minutes, it looks like? Okay. That's correct. At 11.59 a.m. Pacific time okay. is when it is scheduled to touch down on Mars. So it's got to be really exciting for you. It's going to be very yeah. exciting for me. Yes, <laughs> You're absolutely. so great at describing it, too. So, Dave Cuomo, great to see you again. Yeah, great to see you.